welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now in today's topic, I just wanted to touch very quickly on a very simple topic, which is what if you have too many planets in one house? What does that mean? Now the topic came up because I was actually out at dinner with a group of friends and one of the guys there, he told me that he had an astrology reading done by a Western astrologer and he got a lot of benefit from it. But one of the things this astrologer had told him was that, look, you've got too many planets in one house and that's a disaster. And I wanted to pick up on that point because I really don't think it's a disaster. I think there is a notion or a conception or perception out there amongst astrologers that you know, too many planets in one house, it, it concentrates the energy. Uh, and I can see that. I can see that. I can see that it's better to have your planets spread out and distributed and have the energy bouncing around the chart nicely like that. I agree with that. I think that is very good. But I wouldn't go so far as saying too many planets in one house is a bad thing. I don't particularly agree with that. I think it makes a person's life more challenging. It is a challenging situation when, when you see that in a chart, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. It doesn't mean that it trashes the house. It doesn't mean that your life is terrible and you can't succeed. No, not at all. I, I disagree with that entirely. From my experience and from what I have seen in people's lives and in people who are very close to me where I've been able to observe the life very closely I know them very well and I you know know the life very well and, and how it matches up with the chart I have personally seen that too many planets in one house and I'm talking about four or five planets in one house what it can do is it can it can make the focus of of your activities in life a bit narrow so that's true so let's say I mean it's happening you know in a career house say maybe 10 or, or 6 or something like that or you know um, and I mean it depends on the planets as well so it could be a different house but it could even be the seventh it could, it could be all kinds of different it could be your first um, it, it can make the life more heavily focused on that one area so if it is career you know a lot of your activities in life will be to do with career if it is first house sense of self you know it a lot of the activities will keep coming back to you defining yourself right um, let's say it's in the seventh house it's all about relationships you've got four or five planets there yes your house is going to be about relationships it's going to be about relationships or business and or business uh, and or partnerships contracts um, that kind of thing so instead of having a broad spread of activities and opportunities yes a lot of activity will instead be centered around one area of life the other thing that I have seen is that this kind of a situation may make the person do lots of work with one or two people in their lives. So I've seen a chart where there were lots of planets in the seventh house and fourth house had the moon and that person did a huge amount of spiritual and soul work with their mother. Uh, and, and with their mother in, in connection and in relation to relationships and that was that went on for you know uh, a good good chunk of that person's life um, so what I see is that and, and and that's where the challenges arise okay because you might be doing lots of different types of soul work or spiritual work or spiritual growth with one person so what do I mean by that so it can be very this is where it can be very very confusing because let's say it is the moon let's say it is your mother and there 
aspecting the house where you've got lots of planets kind of thing. So you are going to be doing lots of work with your mother. Um, it might be confusing in that she might have been a brilliant mum, but then she might have been very challenging or difficult in relation to one aspect of your life. Or, and, and so what I'm trying to say is you, you can't just say that one person was difficult because they were brilliant as well. Do you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is you'll do lots of types of work with one person or it could be your partner or it could be um, your bosses that you'll always have the similar type of boss and but you'll have you'll experience lots of different dynamics with all these different bosses as well so it that's what complicates things that's what makes it challenging so that's how I see too many planets in one house it really is a thing that you have to sit down and unpick carefully and observe carefully and what you'll find is that one area of life becomes dominant and you will do lots of different types of work with either one type of person or one category of person or it could be one specifically one person or one category of person as I said it could be lots of bosses but you'll find that they're not all going to be awful bosses you'll have all sorts of different experiences with them so some will be profound, some will be mentors, some will be um, horrible, some will be, you know, there'll be all these different types of experiences. So that's what makes it complicated and challenging. It's not bad, okay? I really want people to realize that it's not terrible. What it requires is it requires, it's challenging and it requires more astute observation. It requires sensitivity uh, that kind of chart is asking for more from you and you know when the energies are scattered and things are obvious and you're doing one type of soul work with one aspect of life and you're doing another type of soul work with another aspect of life and you're doing it and it's all very obvious and it's all very organized and it's all like that things can be set up like that but for you with too many planets in one house you're going to be doing lots of types of work, but in a narrow sort of a way, all right? I hope that's making sense. I hope I've communicated that correctly. But what I mostly want to communicate is that it's not bad. And please don't think that it's a disaster. It's not. What it requires, it's, it's just asking for a more astute level of observation, uh, a more astute level of of handling and, and dealing with that area of your life and uh, please don't see it as bad because it's certainly not bad if you would like me to look at your chart and if you would like me to unpick that or help you unpick that or, or help you see um, how that area is impacting your life and how it will continue to impact your life you're very welcome to take a look at my website I will include the link at the end of this video and in the description. Uh, otherwise, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and see what else is going to come because there will be more content on here coming shortly. All right, thanks for stopping by.